What's up, all my YouTube friends? I'm back. I know it's been a minute, but I it's springtime down here in the south, and there's just so much to do outside in the evenings. So um, instead of making my cooking videos, I've been doing things outside. We're getting a garden together and a lot of weeding that has to be done, just all kind of things, y'all. So um, I want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel while I've been away. I appreciate that so much. That's awesome. Thank you. And I want to say thank you to you guys that are still hanging in there waiting for another video. I got one for you today. We are going to do creamy basil tomato pasta with shrimp. This is another great recipe sponsored by Kraft. Let me go ahead and give you the ingredients here. We're going to use some basil leaves, shrimp, of course, uh, some uh, new fish, new New Chatel cheese. Uh, did I say tomatoes already? Um, chicken stock. We've got some farfalla pasta. Some bow tie pasta would work. We've got Parmesan cheese from Kraft. Um, one of the staples right here that you're going to need is the sun dried tomato uh, dressing from Kraft. It's fantastic stuff. We're going to need some black pepper and we're going to need some garlic powder. So, with that being said, y'all. Let's go ahead and start cooking this up. And uh, listen, this is a quick and easy meal. It's going to turn out great for you and your family. Give it a try. Let me show you how easy it is to prepare. We're going to add about three cups of our farfalla or bow tie pasta to water here. Let that start cooking. Over medium heat here, I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of our tomato vinaigrette. And I'll go ahead and put our shrimp in here. And we'll cook these for about two minutes until the shrimp start to turn pink. I'm going to go ahead and remove these to another pan here that I've got right here just heating up. I'll put these in here at a very, very low heat. And I'll cover them just to keep them warm. Now, I'm going to add our chicken stock. I'm going to go ahead and put in the remainder of our salad dressing here, which is just two tablespoons. I'll go ahead and put in our garlic powder. Spread that around. Yum. And I'll go ahead and put in our, our um, pepper. And remember, guys, the ingredients and the amounts are right down there in the description of the video. So I'll go ahead and stir this around, and I'll deglaze the bottom of the pan, just scrape off the good stuff at the bottom, and we'll let this cook for about, I don't know, two or three minutes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add our new Chatel cheese in here. I'll get this out, and we're going to just cook this two to three minutes, or until it's melted down. You want to go ahead and melt this. And guys, i got to tell you, it smells so good. The pepper with the tomato vinaigrette dressing and basil, it is just awesome. So let's go ahead and melt this in here really good. Okay, as you can see, our cheese is melted and we have a really nice cream sauce here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in our tomatoes. And they look absolutely delicious. They look like little rubies going in there. So we'll put these in. And we'll go ahead and stir these around. We'll cook these for about a minute and just let them get inundated with that sauce. Now, at this point, you can go one of two ways. You can go ahead and drain your pasta and add it in, or you can complete your sauce, which I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and stir in my basil. Let me get it out of there. I love fresh basil and tomatoes. That is fantastic stuff. We'll go ahead and stir this in. I'm going to go ahead and put in our Parmesan cheese. And we'll stir that in and let it melt down just a little bit. And I got to tell you guys, I wish you could be here to smell this. Maybe you'll cook this at home and you'll know what I'm talking about. But when you add that basil, oh, 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 mommy, 
It is fantastic. It smells so wonderful. We'll go ahead and get this started in here. I'm going to go ahead and put our pasta in now. And we'll mix this around. And uh, wow, this is really, my mouth is watering right now. I'm also got our shrimp over here. I'm going to go ahead and put our shrimp in. Yum. And the remainder of our basil right on top of that. And we'll get this all mixed up and we'll go ahead and give it a taste test and see what this tastes like, guys. Stick around. All right, guys, there it is. And uh, everyone's coming in and e already gotten some already. And it's just rave reviews for this. I'm going to go right into a shrimp here. Yummy. And we'll grab a tomato if I can get it on the fork. Oh, all right, here it goes, y'all. I'm going to take a bite of this. Uh, Okay, all right. I'll take a bite for you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. It is so creamy. And it smells so delicious, y'all. And it tastes as good as it smells. My last dish was the Parmesan or basil chicken. I don't, tomato basil chicken. Um, everyone in the house is telling me this is better than the basil chicken. So give it a shot, y'all. This is fantastic. It's very easy to fix, very quick. Uh, you, as always, the recipe's just to got like a little map. You can go it, it, any way you want to. So you can add more garlic powder or what have you. Um, the information I'm going to provide below, it's perfect for what this is. It, this is a great dish, y'all. So I'll take one more bite. It's just creamy and delicious. It's fresh. That pepper is awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Very fresh. So thank you for watching, y'all. Please. If you enjoyed this dish, please like, subscribe to my channel, share the video to your friends. It's all to help everybody. So until next time, y'all, which won't be too long, I will see you later.